the forehead of your robot. I recently discovered something that Google kept secret about the Chromebook. This is truly shocking when you really think about it. Known as the kill screen, this error appears on roughly 1 in about 100 of the total amount of Chromebooks. It doesn't matter which Chromebook you have, any of them, except really old models, can get this. Let me break it down for you. The Chromebook starts up like it should with the Chrome animation, and cuts to black like it normally does. If your Chromebook has the kill screen, then instead of going to the login screen like it should, it goes to a screen with a similar UI to the developer mode, or something you would get if the operating system was missing or damaged. The error screen states that the Chromebook encountered an unexpected error, and that normal use could not continue. The screen advises you to call 1-800-4-G-O-O-G-L-E, 1-800-446-6453, no longer in service, to fix the issues. There is also an error code at the bottom of the screen. The Chromebook will shut off after a few seconds. If the Chromebook is powered on again and the issue persists, the animation plays again, but after a few seconds it glitches out, and strange glitching noises emit from the speakers. The screen goes black again, and then cuts to another error screen, stating that the computer could not be used, until a Google representative or employee fixed it. The error code at the bottom of the screen becomes just the number 6 and nothing else. The Chromebook, like last time, will power off after a few seconds. If it is powered on again and the issue is still present in the system, the animation will play again, and then glitch again after a few seconds. More glitching noises emit from the speakers, as the screen cuts to black again. After two seconds, another error screen appears, stating that the error cannot be fixed automatically, and must be manually fixed with the system recovery tool. The screen states that this is a last-ditch effort, and can result in serious damages to the internals of the Chromebook. If the user presses upon the T-error arrangement, the screen cuts to black, then cuts to another screen. The screen states that Google cannot be held accountable for errors that are caused using an authorized software present on the system. The user, if they decide to continue, must download the Chromebook recovery app via the Chrome Web Store, to create a recovery media USB for their make and model. If the user decides to continue, then the user must plug in the USB into the USB port on the Chromebook. The screen then once again cuts to black, then the verification of the media begins. It is said to take up to 10 minutes to complete. Once verification is complete, the recovery process then begins. It can take from around 45 minutes to 6 hours to complete. If the recovery succeeds, the Chromebook begins the power wash cycle, putting the Chromebook into a factory state. However, this is an extremely rare occurrence, and the system recovery process is most likely to fail, within the first 25 to 30 minutes of the recovery process. If the recovery fails, the screen goes black for a second, then another screen suddenly appears with a big fatal error text in all capitals, accompanied with an extremely loud sound. The big text constantly flashes back and forth from red to black, which is likely to cause seizures in some people. Six seconds later, a message appears on the screen, stating that the recovery process had failed, and the internals have been permanently corrupted. A few seconds later, the screen glitches out and the sound completely freezes, then the Chromebook instantly shuts off. There's not even a white flash beforehand, it just instantly shuts off. At this point, your Chromebook is not only bricked, but it quite literally dies. There's absolutely no power going to it. None of the lights on the front work anymore, and the charging port at this point is basically fried, and unable to charge the device. Your Chromebook cannot even be repaired at this point, you will have to buy a brand new Chromebook. There have not been any reports of successful repairs, so your Chromebook is basically useless now. Google set this whole thing up. <laughs>